staff were pretty much in agreement, or if not, how much out of agreement, and where were, was the uh, agreement not uh, the same? Well, I didn't really read a complete report from the West Contra staff. What I did read was the minutes from the board meeting where the staff had concerns, and I believe one was the discipline process, and I'm not clear on what the concerns were there. I think there was a, me a mention of the English learner, which was an issue we had. But without any written information or a report, I can't really make a comparison, and also the board, and the board's decision, of course, didn't have any findings of fact. They were just two statements. Thank you. What I'd like to do, I did look at the census and combine that for all the areas. What I'd like to do is <coughs> give you a comparison of that to the district, and I can email it to you tomorrow. And I just want to say on that is, that is often a misunderstood requirement in the law, because it does say general population. It doesn't say student enrollment of the district. And we have found in doing this research, there usually is a disparity. But I promise I'll send that to you tomorrow, and I'll add to it the district makeup so you can, you can compare the two. Um, you said you uh, visited the proposed facility. So when you were saying it's sufficient, it's sufficient for the 120 or up to their maximum of uh, the 600, almost 700? It's not for, the, I think their plan is in, I think it can house about 300, and their plan is to move. But it, it, there's a small building and there's a couple other buildings on there. I don't know what the plan is for those, but I was thinking maybe if they expand. But the building that we looked at, it does have a gymnasium and nice classrooms. And we were there to see the appropriateness of the facility regarding um, safety, ADA compliance, and that's why I brought <coughs> our facilities directly oh, okay. to so review it. Not, not in terms of it can accommodate but it can yes. accommodate the 120 at this Right. Point. Oh, yeah, it can accommodate 120. <coughs> yes. Okay. Rogers is a good site, too. It is a historical site, which means that it can't be modified, which means that there really can't be a high school 912 population there. Is that not correct? I, I don't know. I don't understand. Because it would have to be, you know, athletic fields, uh, et cetera. And I just didn't see room for that. Yeah, I didn't either. Uh, I saw nice the building in the distance. Oh, they have a really nice gym there. Okay. Other questions? Yes. Um, talking about the site, um, what about um, the approval of the El Cerrito, um planning commission for the school to be sanctioned as a junior high and high school? I can look into that. I have not. I I'm wondering if our board also needs to 
discuss it tonight and then have it come back for approval. Um, I know you're under time restraints, but yet the petitioners aren't ready and our board might not be ready with some of the questions that have been unanswered. So, so what would sign MOU after meeting with them and making ready? Changing, we changing, did make some changes, changes now. Yeah. But, the, but the problem is, we don't have all the facts. Mm -hmm. I really wanted the general population facts, so I don't have that yet. So it's very hard for me to vote on this, tonight, is what I'm saying. <coughs> that all the facts are here. So um, I don't know, we have to discuss that with the board. We have a time, you have a timeline as a board.
funding issue too. Is that too soon to? The, the funding issue 